I was not expecting to film today, but here we are. I just finished The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han, the first book. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to like this book. Ooh, I got some stuff to say. Okay, I got to say it right now while I'm still <laughs> it's still in my head oh my god okay so this book my older sister who actually just texted me Mort you all know her by now if you've been watching my videos you guys know that she really enjoys romances and she is obsessed with the vampire diaries and after reading this for like three chapters I was like okay <laughs> I see where her <laughs> interest got peaked because literally the book, by the way, this is going to be spoilers, okay? Oh, and this, <laughs> it's like kind of, like, I don't even know. Honestly, it's like the Vampire Diaries with, like, the two brothers liking the same girl. And, oh my god, I have some shit to say. <laughs> First of all, Belly is so <laughs> annoying at times. Okay, so I don't think when you're writing a book, you are trying to make your main character look bad. This is not what I was expecting because I love Laura Jean, which if you guys don't know, is in Two All the Boys. I love you for. I love Laura Jean. <laughs> Belly, it might be because Belly is like younger by like two years. I cannot stand her. <laughs> now here's the thing. I don't fully hate her. I'm kind of indifferent, but there's some stuff that she did that kind of pissed me off. So, the book Belly is 15 turning 16, and every summer she goes to Cousins Beach, where her mom has a best friend who has two sons, and then Belly has a brother, and they have gone there, like, all her life, and so, you know, she's, like, really close to, um, like her mom's sisters no her mom's best friend's sons okay there we go she has had a crush on the oldest son conrad since she was a child and she has spent all of her life watching conrad with other girls watching him do all this stuff she's always being left out i feel bad for her when it comes to that okay but <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna put this out here. I'm Team Jeremiah. <laughs> I was Team Cam, and then I was Team Jeremiah because I'll get to what happened to Cam, which is a boy who came in. I know this review is all over the place. It's honestly like a rant review. Oh my god, not in the bad way though. I just need to talk about it because it's literally fresh in my mind. Okay, so summer is going along her brother steven's like okay i have to go with dad and look at colleges so now she's left at the house alone with conrad and jeremiah okay so conrad is acting very different okay i mean in the very early stages of the book i was like i think conrad is depressed <laughs> and that actually is what happens later on and so i felt bad for conrad and i was like oof I was like, okay, yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to end out very good. And Jeremiah was always, you know, making her laugh and making jokes. And then she, they went to a party, a, you know, a little uh, 4th of July thing. And this entire time, Conrad has basically been ignoring her. But then at the party, he's all like no you're not allowed to go with other people and it's like i get it you're being sensible because she just met cam but at the same time like shit bitch summer lemon but <laughs> here's the thing i was really messaging Mort, and i was like cam is such a nerd <laughs> because but it was cute. It was, like, endearing because Belly was also a nerd. So I was like, okay, I can get behind this, like, nerdy on nerdy couple. Most of the books surrounded them. And I was like, okay, this is good. Like, I was really rooting for Cam and Belly. And they had all these moments, so many moments. They walked on the beach. 
Uh, he came to her house a whole bunch of times. They went to the drive-in. And she would do such tone-deaf things just because she was in love with Conrad. And that really pissed me off because Cam was having manners and was like, can I kiss you? And she's like, you shouldn't ask. You should just do it. Um, <laughs> girl. If you want to be with Conrad, who wouldn't have asked you, don't even bother with Cam. He is a pure, sweet soul, okay? Oh my god. I was so, I was really, at, I was looking at the book and I was just like, like, how could you say that to such a little wholesome person? <laughs> I was so annoyed. I was like, see, like, you're hurting people. And then right after she would do it, she would apologize and be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But it's like, you're saying that he ruined the moment. You're the one who ruined the moment, Belly. If he asked you, can I kiss you? You could have just went, yeah, sure. And then you guys kiss. No. You had to make it awkward and be all like, you shouldn't ask, you should just do it. Okay, little miss, I only had one kiss before and it was with my brother's best friend. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, besides that. <laughs> so, Cam, you know, they've having all these moments all summer. And in the end, she ghosts him. After he already said, I really want to stay in touch. And this is probably going to be the last time we see each other. Could we say goodbye? She doesn't even call him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I was so annoyed. I was like, oh, this bitch. Like, listen, at this point, she was 16 years old. And I get it. I think Jenny did that for the sole purpose of, like character development I'll have to see because I'm gonna read the next two books but for right now it's a rant review because ah, <laughs> ooh, I was like what even I was like how are you gonna do that to somebody somebody who literally put their heart out to you and you ghost them and she didn't she mentioned it once that she ghosted him. She's like, he called, um, but I don't know what to say, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then the next three chapters are her and Jeremiah and Conrad, little love triangle, and I'm just like, oh my god. I was like, you literally have no shame. You are shameless. And, like, what? I mean, be a little more compassionate, Belly. You're over here feeling bad about yourself. No, be feeling bad for yourself the entire book, which I understand you have, like, childhood trauma, but how is it that you are aware that you're doing stuff that makes other people hurt, but then you just don't care? And then, they all find out that Susanna, which is Conrad and Jeremiah's mom, she's cancer again, and it's more aggressive, and it's in her liver this time, and... Conrad is crying, obviously, and she goes up to him, and <laughs> I just, what? Like, this is after her and Conrad have been having beef for, like, all fucking summer, and she's like, you know what I'ma do? I'ma rock his world, like, <sighs> what do you mean? He's crying, he is in stress mode, wait, what? He's literally crying because his mom is probably going to die soon. And his parents are getting a divorce through all of this. And she's just there like... Rail me. What? Rail me. Okay, I'm sorry now. Holy shit. Holy shit. Do you have no shame? She is aware of it. How fucked up it is. She's kissing him and she's like, Susanna is gonna die and I'm kissing Conrad. Bitch. Let me tell you what. If Belly had a sister and I was Belly's sister and she came and told me that she made out with Conrad after he just found- I would have punched her. 
I would have slapped her silly. Because what the fuck is wrong with you? If it was me, if I was Conrad, I would have been like, damn, bitch, give me a minute. I just literally saw him crying on the beach and pulled a Debbie Ryan like, Jeremiah confessed his love to her. And I was just like, I was like, come on, come on, just do something right in this fucking book. Do something right, Belly. No. She's like, I still love Conrad. When Jeremiah literally has a complex about not being better than Conrad or living in his shadow and she fucking knew that. I was <clears throat> so annoyed. So annoyed. I was like, no shame. You have no shame. And just because somebody likes you doesn't mean you need to like them back. But through this book, her and Jeremiah have been having moments. Her and Cam have been having moments. I mean, the common denominator here is Belly and Conrad. And Conrad is oblivious to all of this. So it's really only Belly. <laughs> oh my god, I just... And Jeremiah is so wholesome. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, you're really... hurting everybody else's feelings like shit. Um, Conrad's depressed. Everybody else in the house is gonna be depressed too because you're breaking Jeremiah's heart. You ghost to Cam. Susanna's gonna die, so I know everybody is already sad about that. I'm just like, this is the time for you to be sticking together, not breaking people's hearts. I rest my case. And now we're gonna get into the more reviewy part of this, okay? Now that I got my feelings out, <laughs> I have been in such a huge fantasy reading mode like constantly fantasy 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 i have not read a ya contemporary in so long and you know fantasy has world building and all of that stuff so going from reading fantasy to a ya contemporary i just felt bored at times like i felt like the writing was very simple that's honestly not a bad thing, though, because this plot is really addicting, and honestly, I feel like if I was in a reading slump, like I wasn't reading anything, this would be a really good book to pull me out of that, because you just fly through it. I read this in two days, and that's because I was only reading like an hour each day, because I had other shit to do, but yeah, if you're in a reading slump, read this. Besides Belly and Taylor. <laughs> I really enjoyed most of the characters. I thought that they all were very complex, that the flashback chapters fit really well in this book, which is something I've seen some YA contemporaries struggle with. And flashback in itself is a hard tool to put in, especially when you use it so much. Like, every other chapter is a flashback I feel like it really just added more to the story and it shows just how much history that she has with all of the other characters overall even though this book was like really simply written um the plot was good and the writing was straight to the point and honestly I enjoyed it I didn't think I was going to but I did so I'm actually going to be giving this a four out of five stars despite my whole rant that I had in the beginning Oof. <laughs> I never thought I was gonna, like, come on here and have, like, a rant review. I feel like rant reviews are pretty negative most of the time, but this is just ranting about the character, not anything about the author. I feel like in most rant reviews, they're talking about really problematic things. Mine is just, like, I'm off the high of just finishing the book and I have a lot of feelings about it and they're fresh, so, yeah be four out of five stars for the summer i turned pretty by jenny han i am so excited to read the other two books and if you guys enjoyed this review i would love to hear what you guys thought about the book yourself or if you haven't read it tell me if you're thinking about reading it i recommend it especially if you're in a reading slump right now and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys